Hey guys, so I'm actually getting ready to have a bunch of people over. We're going to have uh, music and a game night at our house this evening. And so I've been busy getting ready. And I actually, last night, I went in and put a bunch of um, shea butter and castor oil on my forehead. So made my hair kind of greasy. And so my hair really doesn't need to be washed, but it is rather greasy. So I wanted to show you guys what I do. I have tried a number of um, different um, store-bought dry shampoos, and I don't like um, one, how, um, how many chemicals are in them. And also I don't um, I, I just don't like how they feel. Anyway, so what I do is I actually take um, tapioca starch and you can also use, um, you could use like an organic um, corn starch as well. That would work as well. But what I will do is I will put that as my base and then I will put in a mixture of um, coca, um, sorry, um, cocoa and um, cloves and cinnamon. So I take the powders of those and I mix them all together. I end up with this color. Let's see. Okay, so that's the color I end up with. And I can't really tell you exactly what color you need because it depends on your particular hair color, all right? But what I end up doing is I just get one of my makeup brushes and I dip it in here, get a little bit on it and what I'll do is I'll brush it in and you can see it's a, a little bit lighter than my hair color oh also you want to make sure that you put a little bit of baking soda in it because if it's just cornstarch or tapioca starch it will um, settle on the base of, of like um, right on your skin and so you'll see the contrast but so I'm just brushing this in and also, I end up smelling very fragrant, fragrant with all these um, different, you know, like the cloves and cinnamon really makes it smell nice. And um, I don't wear perfume, so I always use the essential oils. So I don't mind smelling like cloves and cinnamon and a little bit of cocoa. Um, but it's really easy for me to get the... Um, not have to worry about the color too much. I mean, if you were blonde, blonde, you'd really have a little more difficulty getting the right color for you. But, like, my hair has, like, red highlights in it and brown and dark brown and light brown. So then I'm going to just go and I'm going to rub it in. Okay, work it in a little bit. And then I'm going to... Brush it in a little bit. And I usually would do down here too. But just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. Just a moment. Hey, you. You want to come in? Come on in. Mama's doing a live. Can you say hi? Hi. All right, so I'm going to rub it in. I'll flip it upside down a little bit. And I'm going to end up. Hi, hi you. Real life, it's live. Um, and now my hair has a lot more volume, as you can see. And I'm going to bring it up close so you can see that it's not discolored my scalp at all. My scalp's still the right color. So, yeah, so that's a simple way to do it, and it's very cost effective, and it's not going to give you a bunch of chemicals to your hair so hope you guys are having a fabulous wednesday and Mama. next time shh, just a moment next time reagan no no my son's on the floor putting shaving lotion on his head anyway uh, <laughs> uh, friday i'm going to show you guys how to make your own tooth powder i've been seeing so many ads for um tooth powder on Facebook and I'm like seriously you guys this is so cheap so easy to make your own um, I I want to be able to show you guys how to do that so you can make it at home and not spend a bunch of money on making that so hope you guys have a great rest of your day take care